Good morning. My name is Chris Harrison, Associate Registrar. We are pleased to celebrate our graduates from the School of Business Bachelor of Commerce program at this morning's convocation ceremony. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the talented group of individuals behind me who, under the direction of Marty Majorowicz, compri comprise the McEwen University Big Band.
I would like to remind you that the Windspear Center is an acoustically responsive hall. So we ask that if you are carrying electronic devices, you take a moment now to turn them off for the duration of the ceremony. If you need to step outside of the hall, the Windspear has monitors in the lobby on which you can watch the ceremony. A professional photographer will be taking photos of our graduates as they cross the stage and backstage after they have received their parchments. Information on how to obtain copies of these photos will be forwarded to graduates at a later date. Graduates, please remember that at this time, your tassel should be flipped to the right side of your face. We have one more musical number, and then the ceremony will begin. Thank you. One more round of applause, please, for the McEwen University Big Band. Everyone, if you are able, please rise. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the mace bearer for this ceremony. Dr. Claire Den, Assistant Professor in the Department of International Business, Marketing, Strategy, and Law in the School of Business, is carrying the university's mace, which was donated to the university in 1997 by its namesake, Dr. Grant McEwen, and became the official mace in 2008. 
It is especially meaningful to the university as it was hand carved by Dr. McEwen. Further information on the mace and other convocation traditions can be found in your convocation program. The faculty procession is led by Chris Hancock, assistant professor in the Department of Decision Science in the School of Business. Please remain standing for the academic procession. <laughs> Seated. We'll let a few more people grab their seats. Looks like we have a chair for everyone. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to welcome you to this morning's convocation ceremony. Graduates, this is the day you have been working towards and the day your family and friends here with you have been waiting for with joy and anticipation. Today's convocation is indeed a wonderful celebration to recognize our graduates for their achievements at McEwen University. Graduates, distinguished guests, members of the stage party, faculty, staff, and all others in attendance, my name is Dr. Annette Trimby, President and Vice Chancellor. I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather in Treaty 6 territory is the traditional gathering place for many Indigenous peoples. 
We honor and respect the history, languages, ceremonies, and culture of the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit who call this territory home. The First People's connection to the land teaches us about our inherent responsibility to protect and respect Mother Earth. With this acknowledgement, we honor the ancestors and children who have been buried here, missing and murdered Indigenous women and men, and the process of ongoing collective healing for all human beings. We are reminded that we are all treaty people and of the responsibility we have to one another. I would like to acknowledge on Friday we recognize and celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day, an important day of acknowledgement, solidarity, and celebration. Celebrating education and learning is appropriate on a day that we recognize the history and future of Indigenous peoples across Canada. I am so pleased we are able to incorporate voices from our Indigenous community and the talent and creativity of Indigenous musicians. I would now like to invite our Indigenous Knowledge Keeper, Daphne Alexis, to provide us with an Indigenous invocation. The invocation is a prayer, blessing graduates on the road ahead as they complete their education and move into the next phase of their lives, wherever it may lead. Protocol was offered before the ceremony. Daphne? Abwash did Daphne Alexis Magabi Wakamne Wihname Shidaha Himut Pinimayad Nenwahine Magichumne Ne Nimi Washte Yohabine Wakumna de Bege Manihash Wakane Good day, my name is Daphne Alexis. I'm from the Alexis Nokota Sioux Nation, born and raised in Paul First Nation. I am Nakota Cree, and it is my honor to be here to help celebrate your accomplishments. I know it's a, it's a long road and, and a hard road, and I'd really like to congratulate you. I was offered protocol, tobacco, and wahbebe, and idukabi to uh, render this prayer and prayer song for you. I did my uh, protocol backstage. I lit my smudges, and I smudged the protocol in my rattle, which was, I was taught. Shneesh. Thank you. 
Shinat Ishnesh. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Daphne. Celebration and sharing of Indigenous culture are key to building a strong future for Indigenous people here at McEwen, in Edmonton, and across the country. I'm grateful to be able to welcome Shayla Delore Marikel and Damaris Badger. Shayla is Cree and Mohawk from Coasis, Saskatchewan. She completed her Bachelor of Arts degree at McEwen University. Shayla is a jingle dress dancer. The jingle dress dance is said to have healing powers and is often performed to pray for the health and well-being of the community. Demaray has been dancing fancy shawl style for four years and has traveled in Canada and the USA for powwow. She dances for those who are unable to, her grandparents, and for healing. Shayla and Demaris will be accompanied by Blackstone singers. Indigenous singers, dancers, and drummers share their gifts of song and dance at our convocation ceremonies. In each performance, the drum represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth and of all nations. It is a sacred gift believed to carry the echoes of Indigenous ancestors. Thank you, Shayla, Demarest, and Blackstone. What a beautiful performance. Thank you for celebrating with us today. Now, please stand for the singing of our national anthem performed by the McCune University Big Band and sang by Jessica Singleton.
please be seated. I have the privilege now of introducing Dr. Tony Fields, McEwen's first chancellor. Chancellor Fields has had a long and distinguished career in medicine as a physician, teacher, researcher, and administrator. Most recently, he was a professor of oncology at the University of Alberta and vice president of cancer care for Alberta Health Services before retiring in 2011. Please join me in welcoming Chancellor Fields to officially open convocation. Thank you, President Trimby. Welcome to McEwen University's Spring 2024 Convocation. As Chancellor, I declare McEwen University's Convocation open. It is my distinct honor and privilege to be conferring your academic credentials today. This is a special academic ceremony wherein you, the graduating class of 2024, will receive the degrees, diplomas, or certificates that recognize your remarkable achievements as students of McEwen University. Graduands, today is all about you, and we are honored to be here to celebrate your achievements. Graduation from a university is a major milestone in life's journey, and Convocation fittingly celebrates it with you in the company of your classmates, loved ones, and teachers. Together, we recognize the diligence and persistence that each of you has applied to your studies and the knowledge, skills, and attributes that you have acquired during your time at McEwen. These valuable tools will help you succeed in whatever field of work or further endeavor you choose. When I reflect on the years that have passed since my own first graduation from university, my most striking observation is how dizzying the pace of change has become in our society's knowledge and achievement, whether in my own field of healthcare or almost any other that you might name. You, today's graduates, will no doubt witness future achievements that my generation scarcely dared to dream of. This is a wonderfully exciting prospect. It also underscores the importance of the commitment that I encourage each of you to make to lifelong learning. Adaptability to change will be a vital asset, critical to meeting challenges and taking advantage of opportunities. We believe that your time at McEwen has helped to prepare you to succeed in this changing future. We hope that it has also nurtured your ambition to be shapers and builders of the future with the goal of improving the world we live in together. As you graduate, you join the growing community of McEwen alumni. Collectively, you and your fellow alumni demonstrate the many benefits that education at McEwen contributes to our society across diverse disciplines and throughout our public, private, and voluntary sectors. I look forward to conferring your credentials here today, and I wish you a future rich with fulfilling endeavors and achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Fields. It is my pleasure to now introduce members of the stage party. Members of the stage party, please remain standing once you have been called. Members of the audience, please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. You've already met Chancellor Fields. Next to him is our Board of Governors Chair, Carolyn Graham, and our Provost and Vice President Academic, Dr. Craig Monk. Would members of our Board of Governors rise, please? Would our deans and vice presidents rise, please? I now ask our associate vice presidents and associate deans to rise, please. 
I would like to recognize our honorary doctorate recipient, Dr. Anne McClellan. Would other members of the university administration rise, please? And I now ask the representatives of each of our associations, faculty, staff, alumni, and students, and student speaker to rise. I now ask the mace bearer, distinguished proctor, and all remaining faculty and staff of the university to rise, please. This is your 2024 spring convocation stage party. Together, they represent all the faculty and staff from across the university who taught you, encouraged you, challenged you, supported you, and worked behind the scenes for you during your time at McEwen University. And they are all honored to be here to celebrate with you today in this incredible Winsboro Hall with the fullest house I think I've ever seen. So please join me in acknowledging all of them. Thank you, members of the stage party. You may be seated. And I invite Gabriel Ambutong, president of the Students Association of McCune University, to read the student's invocation. Through learning, we flourish and help others to flourish. We stand here today on the brink of important change for ourselves and for the world. Inspired by the past, we now step forward to transform the future. Engaging with others, we cherish the diversity of experience within our communities and ourselves. Through perseverance, we excel. Through compassion, we connect. Through creativity, we thrive. Through knowledge, we grow. Through all this and more, let us forge a legacy to nurture, to inspire, to endure. Moved by this spirit, strong in our knowledge, we move out into the world with open arms, open mind, and open heart. We pledge to leave the world better than we found it. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel, for delivering the invocation and for the leadership you demonstrate in your role as the SAMU president. Conferment of an honorary doctorate is the highest honor a university can grant. As Edmonton's downtown university, McEwen has a vibrant academic culture built on our deeply rooted community connections. We recognize community members who best illustrate the values and achievements that McEwen graduates can aspire to. They are chosen for their exemplary work both in their field and for impact on community. I would like to invite Carolyn Graham, Chair of the Board of Governors of McCune University, to introduce this year's honorary doctorate recipient. Carolyn. Thank you, President Trimby, and good morning, everyone. As I look around the room today, I'm filled with immense admiration for each and every one of you. Your journey to, the, to this point has been filled with challenges and experiences that many other university graduates did not have to face. And yet, in spite of it all, here you are today, standing tall and resolute in your achievements. Your commitment, resilience, and determination are truly remarkable. In this great hall, I also see the faces of those who supported you throughout your journey. The pride radiating from their expressions is a testament to the impact that you've had on their lives. And their unwavering belief in your abilities has been a guiding light, propelling you forward even in the face of adversity. Today we celebrate not only your achievements, but also the collective success that we share as a community. This morning it's my great privilege to introduce our honorary doctorate recipient a distinguished individual whose contributions have left an indelible mark on our society, the Honorable A. Ann McClellan. McEwen awards honorary doctorates to individuals who've made significant achievements in their areas of expertise and who have had substantial positive impacts in our communities. Before inviting Ms. McClellan to, to, on stage to speak, let me share some of her incredible achievements. Ms. McClellan's career has been nothing short 
of illustrious and impactful. Serving four terms as the Liberal Member of Parliament for Edmonton Centre, Ms. McClellan's contributions to Canada include service as Deputy Prime Minister, as well as Minister of several key portfolios, including Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada. During her long and prestigious career in Ottawa, Ms. McClellan established a new record as Alberta's longest serving federal cabinet minister. Her leadership and dedication to public service has been exemplary. In addition to her political achievements, Ms. McClellan has made significant contributions to the field of education. As the seventh chancellor of Dalhousie University and a professor of law at the University of Alberta, she has shaped the minds of countless students, inspiring them all to reach for greatness. Ms. McClellan holds prestigious honors for her service to, to the nation and to our province. In 2009, she was appointed an officer of the Order of Canada and in 2013 received the Alberta Order of Excellence. Her energy, passion, and dedication to service can be seen in the remarkable resume of volunteer leadership that she has built since retiring from the political arena. Ms. McClellan's commitment to creating a better future is evident through her involvement in a variety of boards and organizations, which have a particular focus on initiatives that serve women, strengthen health care, and extend support to vulnerable people. As the co-chair of the Coalition for a Better Future, she leads a diverse group of over 140 organizations working towards sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Her tireless efforts to foster positive change are an inspiration to all of us. Albertans and all Canadians have greatly benefited from the expertise and commitment to service that Ms. McClellan has shared over her remarkable career. And she is a shining example of the power of post-secondary education. Ms. McClellan's accomplishments serve as a reminder that there are no limits to what can be achieved with determination, knowledge, and the will to make a difference. Let us acknowledge and celebrate her extraordinary contributions and express our deepest appreciation for the inspiration she brings to all of us. It's with great pleasure that I invite you all to warmly welcome the Honorable A. Ann McClellan to the stage as we bestow upon her McEwen University's highest honor. And I'll also ask Chancellor Fields to step forward and join us on the stage. Thank you, Board Chair Graham. As Chancellor of McEwen University, by authority of the powers vested in me, I do hereby confer upon you, Anne McClellan, the degree of Doctor of the University Honoris Causa and the honor and privileges that are proper to it. Congratulations, Dr. McClellan. While well, I still have the microphone, I now invite Julie Green, our registrar, to place the hood of the degree on Dr. McClellan. Thank you very much, Chancellor Field. Good morning, everyone. Chancellor Field, Vice Chancellor and President Annette Trimby, Board Chair Carolyn Graham, thank you so much for those overly generous remarks, but thank you. Dean Perlow, graduates, this is all about you, families, friends, and everyone who is a supporter of McEwen University. And maybe with this age and stage of life, I should put my glasses on. I am delighted to receive this honor from McEwen University. 
What a history McEwen has had, from a community college to a college and now to a degree-granting university. And we have seen you, McEwen, become an anchor tenant of our downtown. You are at the heart of our city. It is hard to imagine our downtown skyscape without those 12 iconic pillars that reach skyward. You and your neighbors down the street, the Ice District and the Oilers, go Oilers! I bet you were all wondering how I was going to wor work the Edmonton Oilers into my remarks this morning. Well, now you know. But you and your neighbors down the street have helped keep our downtown vibrant and alive. And we all, all of us, owe you a big thank you. <laughs> to the graduates here today, as you've heard from Chancellor Field. You are beginning an exciting new stage of your lives in a world of ever-accelerating change. Many of the assumptions on which we have built our prosperity and our overall well-being are being challenged, both here at home and abroad. The world has changed more quickly with more surprises than we could have predicted. Let's do a quick recap of just a few of the world-shaping events that have transpired since most of you arrived here four years ago at McEwen. A global pandemic which called into question the sustainability of our healthcare system and shook the global economy to its core. An acceleration of the existential threat of climate change as we see fires, floods, and droughts both here and around the world. Continued evidence of the decline of democracy around the world and the rise of authoritarianism. An unprovoked and illegal war in Ukraine, turmoil in the Middle East. A retreat from globalization and a disruption of the trade relationships that accompanied it. And a world in which technological innovation makes it harder to know what is real and what is fake and where cybersecurity is just another cost of doing business. Let me pause here and say there's another uh, element that I should add to this list. On the eve of Indigenous Peoples Day, over the four years that you have been here at McEwen, we have all come to a greater realization of the fact that the journey of reconciliation with Indigenous peoples in Canada has just begun and it will be a long journey. This is the reality of the world to which you will be bringing your knowledge, your passion, and your energy. But let me assure you, there is much that is positive and that speaks to our resiliency and our capacity to adapt. Look at how quickly we adjusted to an online world at the beginning of the pandemic. You were on the front lines of that. We learned that we could work and play virtually. Graduates, this is your wheelhouse. There's a reason why we call you digital natives. It is like your generation came out of the womb with a device in your hands. Consider how quickly we developed, trialed, and produced vaccines that prote protected and saved the lives of hundreds of millions of people around the world. Look at how we have stopped arguing about whether climate change is happening. No more denial. And that we are now focused on how we reach a net zero world by 2050. And we are more connected than we have ever been with each other and the world more connected socially, politically, and economically. This should facilitate the easier movement of people, goods, and services. You, graduates, are known as the digital generation. You were born into a world of technological innovation where information is readily accessible and social media is everywhere. 
I guess we could debate whether that's always good or bad, but that is the reality into, uh, which we, or in which we all live. And we see how technology is changing everything, from how we define work and where and how we do it, to even finding your lifelong partners. It is also changing our most basic economic structures and expectations. Digitalization will be the necessary precondition for economic growth and prosperity. And you are better prepared to succeed in this new reality than anyone. Better prepared than the millennials, better prepared Gen Xers, and 100 times better prepared than we boomers. Right, Chancellor? That's you and me, babe. <laughs> As we absorb the lessons from the global pandemic and hope to build back better, I do believe that we are at an inflection point. This inflection point suggests that we must think about how we can do things differently and do them better how governments deliver services in the digital age, how markets acknowledge past limitations and take into account metrics for success that include more than shareholder value, and how the communities in which we all live build healthier, more inclusive, and more sustainable environments. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to give you an example perhaps a small example, but one which the Vice Chancellor and Board Chair has already referenced. An example of a project that I believe speaks to doing things differently. Some of you may have heard of the Coalition for a Better Future. This coalition is a 140-member organization, all of which are concerned about inclusive, sustainable, long-term economic growth. I co-chair this initiative along with Lisa Raitt, who is the former deputy leader and minister in the government of Prime Minister Stephen Harper. You may wonder why card-carrying members of the Conservative and Liberal parties have chosen to work together to, in to argue that inclusive, sustainable economic growth must be on the agenda not only of all governments in this country, but on the agendas of the private, nonprofit, and charitable sectors. It is because we believe that with sustained focus on inclusive, sustainable economic growth, Canada will continue to be the best country in which to live. Lisa and I are clear that while we need economic growth, we need the right economic growth. It must be inclusive. We can no longer leave significant numbers of Canadians behind who feel pushed to the sidelines, whose product capacity is not utilized. And we must remember that rural Canada and the North are important parts of our economic growth strategy. Economic growth must be sustainable. Among other things, that means that we must hit our 2050 greenhouse gas emission targets. 140 organizations in this country, from the biggest corporations to small NGOs and charities, representing millions of Canadians, have come together in the coalition and agree that sustainable growth must be our focus. For Lisa and me, and a growing number of Canadians, the most challenging question for the years ahead is whether Canada can compete globally, and to do so in a sustainable and inclusive way, thereby providing all Canadians with the prosperity and quality of life that we seek. All of you here today will be key to our ability as a nation to achieve this vision. No pressure. You embrace technological innovation and you're comfortable with it. You embrace diversity because you are, according to Pew Research, the most diverse generation in history. 
You are socially minded, independent thinkers who recognize your responsibility in shaping a more equitable future for all. Therefore, graduates, I am very optimistic about our future because of you. In conclusion this morning, I wish the following things for all of you. To be ambitious for yourself and your country. To seek the truth, there are no alternative facts. To build strong, ethical, trusting relationships with co-workers and friends. To listen carefully. To be curious and to be kind. Congratulations to you all. Go out there in the McEwen tradition and make a difference. Make the world a better place. Please enjoy the rest of this special day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anne McClone, for giving uh, such an inspiring speech and a call to action and your optimism. And I want to personally thank you for your, your generosity and your kindness towards McEwen because uh, you've been a keen supporter of us all along the way. And I, I will share that uh, when we had visions of building a new school of business building, when I called her up, she said, that would be great, make sure it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and um, it will be. It will be. So I now invite Chancellor Fields to join me for the presentation of graduates and conferring of credentials. Graduates, if you are able, please rise. Uh, That's a good sign we have an enthusiastic audience. Yeah. On behalf of the faculties and schools of McEwen University, I present these graduates and those named in the convocation program who are not at the ceremony. I ask Chancellor that they be admitted to the McEwen University credentials that they have earned. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, and upon the recommendation of McEwen University's General Faculties Council, I admit you to the degree, diploma, or certificate to which you are entitled, and I invest in you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to that credential. Now, I bestow upon you this credential as a solemn trust to transform to engage and to improve the world from this day forth, to teach and to learn from others so that through your learning we may all flourish. Congratulations, class of 2024. So one of the things we do to commemorate this special moment is I invite you to all flip your tassels to your left. Wait, wait. We need to do it with some drama all together. On the count of three, one, two, three, flip. So you can sit down for a moment. Uh, it will be your turn to cross the stage soon, but first, a few medals and a musical interlude. I would like to recognize the recipient of the McEwen University President's Medal for Academic Excellence and Student Leadership to deliver the student address. The President's Medal recognizes students who have made an outstanding contribution to campus activities while maintaining a superior academic record. The recipient of the President's Medal is Eva Mary Margaret Hollis, a graduate of the Bachelor of Arts, Honors and Political Science program in the Faculty of Arts and Science. Throughout her undergraduate degree, Eva demonstrated a profound commitment to her education and community. She maintained an impressive GPA, held multiple research assistant positions, and actively participated in a variety of on and off campus groups. 
Eva's involvement in the McEwen community, dedication to improving the experience of students, and drive to support others as seen by her dedication to roles in the model United Nations Club, the McEwen Student E-Journal, and the Office of Human Rights, Diversity, and Equity, among others, has left a lasting impact on the university. Her professors are proud to share how inspired they are by her resilience, curiosity, passion for learning, and keen research skills, which they note are well beyond the undergraduate level. Eva will be continuing her academic journey in the fall in pursuit of a master's degree, and I have no doubt she will find great success and continue to use her education to address challenges in the community and better the lives of everyone around her. Today, we celebrate her many achievements, exceptional academic performance, and the positive influence she's had on both her peers and professors during her time at McEwen. I was delighted to present the President's Medal for Academic Excellence and Student Leadership to Eva at the Faculty of Arts and Science and School of Continuing Education Ceremony on Tuesday. So today, we're gonna to hear a video of Eva. You'll feel like she's right here. Thank you, President Trimby, for those kind words. Hello, my fellow graduates, the Asim Stage Party, and faculty members at McEwen University, and our loved ones joining us today in our celebrations. I'd like to begin this address by congratulating the spring class of 2024. Congratulations on earning your degree, diploma, or certificate. This is a significant accomplishment that everybody here at the Windsphere, those tuned in online and presidents present in spirit, are proud of you for achieving. I certainly am proud of you all and can't wait to walk the stage with everybody. I must admit, this is a very surreal moment for me. For the longest time, I thought that graduating from university was just some dream that I had that would never come to fruition. And while I dreamt about turning this dream into a reality, the discouragement that I received from educators in grade school, coupled with the adversity that I encountered early on in my educational pursuit as an adult, dissuaded me from achieving my academic potential. That is, until I let the curiosity that I've always had for the world guide me. And while it took years for my fear of academic failure to subside, my anxiety surely lessened the more involved I became on campus and in my department. My fellow graduates, I hope that this message resonates with you. We've all spent our formative years in the hallways at McEwen, and while it may not be easy to admit, I'm sure that we've all experienced fears and anxieties that we may or may not have shared with others. In fact, you may be feeling fearful right now about what the future holds, or perhaps you're feeling nervous that soon you will be walking across the stage. But look around, allow the vibrancy and excitement that fills the ceremony to uplift you, and know that you will accomplish great things anytime you courageously turn and face the strange. Always follow your heart and let your passions guide you. I'm humbled to admit that my passions are what led me to this moment. Words cannot express how astonished I am to have been selected for this award. To say that I'm grateful is an understatement, but I really am so grateful. Thank you to the faculty at McEwen University for providing me with such a positive and remedial educational experience. And a special thank you to my honors advisor, Dr. Andrea Wagner, whose support and encouragement I couldn't have done without. Thank you to my mother, Sandy, for always believing in me. Um, <laughs> to my father, Nick, for inspiring me, and to my partner, Stefan, for sharing my love for learning. I want to also extend thanks to everybody else who is here to cheer on my fellow graduates, the families, friends, significant others, and faculty members who supported a grad through this journey. I'm humbled to share this moment with you all. Now, let's have a round of applause for our graduates. Thank you, Eva Mary Margaret Hollis. I've heard that a few times, and my favorite line is, um, courageously face the strange. I thought that was very creative, and think about it, there's a lot of strange out there. Anyways, it's gonna be your moment very soon, and our marshals will bring the graduates to the stage. Off stage, to your right, is a representative from our alumni office. They will present each graduate with a gift on behalf of the McEwen University Alumni Association. The graduate procession is ordered by faculty and school. Student awards will be presented in advance of graduates. Graduates, this is your moment to celebrate, shine, and be recognized for your accomplishments. 
As you make your way across the stage, stop and hit your mark next to our mace. Take a moment, wave to your family and friends, pause for a photo, and make your way off stage. I'm going to give you a demonstration. I will say that is the introvert version. <laughs> this is the moment your family, friends, and other supporters along your journey have waited for to celebrate you. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance have led up to this moment. Although we won't be shaking hands on stage today, graduates will be watching proudly and cheering each of you as you cross the stage. We now welcome Blackstone singers from the Sweetgrass Cree Nation in Sweetgrass, Saskatchewan. Since their formation, the group has and continues to travel extensively throughout North America, sharing their music and many different celebrations. The drum is comprised of members of the Paskman family, which now includes the sons and nephews of original members. Blackstone will perform an honor song as the graduates are being assembled and making their way on stage. Thank you, Blackstone. We are truly honored to have you perform for us today. Let's give our ushers another moment or two to finish their business. Good morning, my name is Dr. Craig Monk, Provost and Vice President Academic. In each faculty and school at McEwen University, we recognize the students whose academic efforts place them at the top of their class. The Dean's Medals are the highest academic honor that may be granted by a school, and these medals recognize the exemplary success of individual students in an area of study. One award may be granted in a certificate or diploma program, and one award in a degree program. At this time, I invite my colleague, Dr. Richard Perlow, Dean of the School of Business, 
to come to the podium to present this prestigious award. It is my honor to award the Dean's Medal for Academic Excellence in a Degree Program in the School of Business to Evan Curtis Ng, a graduate of the Bachelor of Commerce Program. I would like to invite our award winner to join me here on stage. Mr. Evan Ng is the Dean's Medal Award recipient for the Bachelor of Commerce degree. He majored in accounting and minored, minored in finance and participated in co-op. Now, Evan is an outstanding student. He earned a GPA of 4.0. Oh, and in that 40 course program, he earned two A's and 38 A pluses. <laughs> that all said, he is more than an outstanding performer. One of his instructors said that Evan is the quintessential seeker of knowledge, not just a gatherer of, gatherer of information for exams. He was the kind of student who would ask inconvenient questions. Not because you don't know the answers. The questions Evan asked are great questions, but take time to adequately answer because of the complexity and the sophistication of the questions he asked. And that left fewer minutes for the professor to cover the material they had planned to cover that day. And over the years, he has transformed in e into an even more mature student with clear career goals and the sophistications of his questions and inquisitiveness has increased. But what makes Evan special is that he does more than take classes. He participated in our co-op program where students obtain real world experience working for organizations. He volunteered and worked as the CPA student ambassador at McEwen for the past two years. Clearly, Evan is talented, mature, and a hardworking individual who will go far in his career. Oh, and keep asking questions. Congratulations, Evan. Eminent Chancellor, Madam President, I now present to you the following graduates from the School of Business. And now, presenting graduates receiving their Bachelor of Commerce. Amir Abdel Razek Saleh. Michaela Dawn Abel with distinction. <laughs> Rena Joyce Embernate Acosta. <laughs> Afros Azim Adam. <laughs> Desi Antonella Akimana. Suleiman Albert. Gladlin Ganson Alpino with distinction. 
Miranda Rose Altmix. Gabriella Amesbury. Sydney August Antolik. Glace Ann Apollinario. Karen Ashra. Lauren Steven Astillo. Danica Atanasiewicz. Vivi Ong Chen. Adnan Jamal Bakas. Amarjot Bangren with distinction. Justin Ki Bao. Sean William Bath. Marin Bakele. Jayla Hillway Bennett with distinction. Owen Bennett with distinction. Francis Bertigan. Mariah Marjorie Ann Berezik. Samantha Alyssa Bernard with distinction. Nemet Bugra. Jacqueline Eva Badrovic. Noah Francis Braz with distinction. Ties Hugo Bronder. Adam Bruno. Juliana Rose Bulger. Denise Josefina Camarador. Chalice Brianna Campbell. Freja Ora Pagayunan Cartujano. David Mar Aspiras Castro. Mike Lloyd Canilla. Anthony Chabot. Harleen Kaur Chahal. Tamara Shamsuddin. Andrea Marie Chang. Atishna Chand. Carmen Chow. Andy Chen. Mattia Brittany Chen. (laughs) 
Nadalis Jun Hua Chen. Jared Alexander Chevalier. Jenna Teresa Kyoto with distinction. Hauda Shuker. Isaac Chow Turner. Shelby Bell Christensen with distinction. Rio Yu Chung. Nicholas James Gordon Clark. Nicholas Lee Claxton. Bianca Marie Coco. Ryan Coffin. Alexander Cole. Samantha Kanda Connors. Jack Wyatt Cooper. Sodine Jane Coso. Daniela Elizabeth Cox. Darian Chase Crane. Ray Stewart Crichton. Drayden Cronin. Michaela Lauren Crook. Jasmine Denise Crusillo. Blaise Braden Curry with distinction. Ali Amin Darouj. Ira Mari Mendoza Dalusong. Dominic Dam. Donna May Arado Damaso. Thomas Richard Davis, with distinction. Ryan Matthew Dawson. Colin Edward Dowett, with distinction. Sarah Joe DeCock. <laughs> Curtis DeHaas. <laughs> Taylor Grace Schulte. <laughs> Alexis Janelle Durkach. Eshwinder Kaur Dhaliwal. <laughs> Reet Dhaliwal. <laughs> Taj Singh Dhaliwal. <laughs> Casey Cristofaro.
Jalen Haley Disney. Mason Michael Douglas. Lin Myok Do. Raymond Davina Donna. Magnolia Jane Donnelly. Troy Hideo Dudley. Curtis Wayne Dunford. Kaylee Maria Durante. Margaret Alexandra Aholt. Raylene Marie Emerson. Deanna Eng. Ibrahim Baron Erdogan. Nessa Jane May Estrano. Shailen Hannah Iwaknuk. <laughs> Hannah Ray Iwashko. <laughs> Annette Ferenzi. <laughs> Reese Fetter. Jordan Amelia Kathleen Fleming. <laughs> Jessica Ann Flynn. <laughs> Michaela Christine Friesen. Mikisha Rosemarie Fuller. Fiona Carlin Velasco Gavasa. Jennifer Ann Gaeco, with distinction. Rachel Gerland. Dylan Matthew Gansky. Juneri Alexandra Garcia Martinez. Bezawit Gesenarium. Layla Gazri. Thomas Anthony Gill, with distinction. Komal Kor Gill. Raminder Gill. Hunter Michael Davis Gillis. Cassidy Goldman. Oh. Dawson Clyde Green. Demera Delaney Green Melanson.
Shushan Hile. Matthew Cole Hale. Bryce Allen Halwa. Jason James Hamilton. Peyton William Dixon Hardy. Nicholas Mark Harvanka. Bobby Ann Rubina Hogan. Parker Peyton Hay. Nelson Forrest Haynes. Samantha May Healy. Ivy Ho. David Horn. Georgia Elise Inverarity. Sophie Jackson. Nishant Jane. Manrup Singh Jander. Hannah Ann Jardine. Matthew Cody Johnson with distinction. Riley Stephen Johnson with distinction. Brooke Marie Joinson with distinction. Pierce William Jorgensen. Trixia Angela Joseph. Megan Jukes. Erica Nicole Cabin. <laughs> Natalie Grace Kalajimaho. <laughs> Kabir Kalia with distinction. <laughs> Dara Elena Katzef. Gurkamal Kaur. <laughs> Aya Korfan. <laughs> Sana Kuram with distinction. <laughs> Olivia Alexis Klimosko with distinction. Shelby Lynn May Knaus. <laughs> Michael Conifal. <laughs> Khaled Ira Korane. <laughs> Sydney Brooke Krishki. Karel Anthony Laco. Benjamin Douglas Laird. Shaquille Rahim Lakani.
Faith Delaney Landsberg. <laughs> Melanie Katrina Lang. <laughs> Jonathan Lee, with distinction. <laughs> Justin Learmont, with distinction. Nikki Ledesma with distinction. Adam Richard Lebecmo. Jennifer May Leung. Angelique Marion Lazelle with distinction. Colette Janine Lofton. <laughs> Cecilia Eileen Lorenz. <laughs> Eric Robert Losing with distinction. <laughs> Raylene Sarah Lucius. Damien Sebastian Lugowski. Ruth Lumsden. Caitlin Elizabeth Katrina Lunn with distinction. Joshua Jeffrey Lutz with distinction. Lillian Liu. <laughs> Carter Andrew McDonald. <laughs> Susanna Grace McNeil. <laughs> Paras Madan. Ethan Ryan Ma. Tyler Dan Ma. Sadi Mahfoud. Matthew George Mayer. Jackson Kenneth Makarowski. <laughs> Alexi Maksutenko. <laughs> Nolan Mannix with distinction. <laughs> Misha Mateus Mare with distinction. Sabrina Natalina Morello. Brendan Lewis Marshall. Mike Hendricks Martinez. Lucas Martino. Mateo Mario Martino. Brad William Maslanka. Nizreen Matar. John Mateo. Dawson Chase Mays. <laughs> Stephen Curtis Mazarol with distinction. Yeah. 
Ashlyn Elizabeth McCormick. Caitlin Alyssa McCreeth with distinction. Jarrett Edward George McFadden. Brianna Wayan McWhorter. Nawal Medina Garcia. Hermala Mateos Mahare. Tanner Reed Melnick. Paniotis Alexandros Michalides. Tristan Bryce Milan. Caitlin Bridget Marie Montmoreau with distinction. David Robert Moore. Blake Morrison. Cole Morton. Delena Layla Marie Moog with distinction. Alexandra Movshevich. Langa Melissa Mapofu. <laughs> Michaela Grace Mudrick with distinction. <laughs> Madison Daniela Murray with distinction. <laughs> Sanam Aisha Nand. Hadi Nasser El Din. <laughs> Stacy Ndamama. <laughs> Hale Ethan John Nicolets with distinction. <laughs> Zachary Edwin Nolan. Jonathan Nyamukapa. Rachel Serena O'Leary with distinction. Matthew Oscarboyne. Aisha Lula Osabol. Austin James Owens. Jaron David Pallet. Jeffrey Allen Paquette with distinction. Joshua Leslie Pierce. Yu Gui Peng. You go. Cinderella Pepage. Mason Perez. Griffin J. Parrott. <laughs> Li Bao Han Fan with distinction. Yeah. 
Rayanne Marie Peacock with distinction. Landon Petrucki. Robin Pilling. Shay Dawn Piper with distinction. Tyler Joseph Giuliano Petrie. Amanda Pong. Liam James Potgeter. Christian Power. Adrian Benedict Pulido with distinction. Ishrin Rai. Patrick Mackenzie Reigns with distinction. Divjot Randawa with distinction. Benjamin Robert Raposo. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Ann Ratzlaff with distinction. J. Adrian Remo. Brianna Ring. Hassan Rizvi. Isabel Roberts. Jonathan Douglas Robinson. Claudia Alexandra Rodas Kalba. Juan Nicolas Rodriguez Babativa. Monica Rojek. Jack Anthony Romaniak. Noah Bradley Rumpel. Amira Amni Kate Russell. Adam Ignatius Rustin. Ashley Courtney Saddleback. Jeremiah David Said. Max Aaron Saltpeter. Amila Neomal Samarakodi. Jelena Riley Samletsky. Brianna Lynn Sank. Jordan Areas Saw. Hayden Charles Schetzel with distinction. Taryn Marie Schneider. Matkenna Shuttler. <laughs> Alina Marie Rosaliosa Sinining. <laughs> Ashrita Seti with distinction. <laughs> Kat
Claudia Chanel Scambaro with distinction. Akash Sharma. Kushbu Sharma. Zoe Gracie Shaw. Juliana Christina Sherman. Cassandra Chuchuk. Jaden Shahada. Mason Kevin Shakalak. Antika Sadu. Joel Dalen Simpson. Harkaran Kaur Singh. Raquel Kimberly Brooke Sivertz Sivertson. Nicolina Isabella Scoria. Nolan Sobel. Kayla Giselle Spencer. Christine Marie Spottiswood. Amatoja Singh Sran. Kale Richard Paul Stephan. Cody Joseph Matthew Stetchman with distinction. Kaylin Paige Stewart. Nicholas Conrad Storr. Alexandra Jane Strachan. Brooklyn Sturrock. Shanti Subramaniam. Alexandra Julie Sulikowski. Caitlin Mary Swan Galloway. Jason Tan with distinction. Wesley Tang with distinction. <laughs> Muaz bin Tarek. <laughs> Niftalian Tessa Michael. <laughs> Dylan James Timer. Cassia Mary Christina Tonys with distinction. Danielle Wei Lan Tu. Kyle Torak both. Kong Tan Tran. Dennis Tran. Du Mi Ti Tran. Stefania Anna. 
Trinsevsky with distinction. Alan Tu. Abby Ann Grace Tucker. Karen Preet Kaur Uppel. Osa Muadiami Noah Uzi. Claire C.B. Velez. Sid Vamula. Vanessa Janelle Verbitsky. Rowena Regal Verganio. Brayden Filyun. Sebastian Jose Villoria Guerra. Gabriella Denise Volman. Brenda Edna Freiblud, with distinction. Vina Vu. Ashton Christopher Danielle Wald. With distinction. Chi Lo Kwan. Jason Richard Watamanyak. Stuart Henry Watamanyak. Kenneth Allen Witten. Hudson Hugo Witzke with distinction. Karen Yublinovsky. Reed Lucas Yakimishin. Andrea Jedediah Yao. Mona Zahir. Ewan Zinchuk. And this concludes the graduates of the School of Business. Well, thank you everybody for being such a warm and enthusiastic crowd. I, I like to say uh, we have the best seat in the house because we see you as you might be a little tentative walking across the stage, but when your peers and friends and family cheer you on, most of you smile. <laughs> and I also um, like to hear the magic of your full names, such beautiful names. And um, anyways, I don't know if you think about that very often, but you probably don't hear your full name very often. Parents, you might recall when you use their full name, but anyways, <laughs> today it's all good. So I now ask Inez Agavec, our Alumni Advisory Council member, to come to the podium to deliver an alumni message to you, the newest members of the McEwen alumni community of over 90,000. Congratulations, class of 2024. I'm thrilled to congratulate you on your academic achievements and to be the first to officially welcome you to your alumni association. As each of you look around the room today and embark on your own journey, remember that you are leaving McEwen with so much more than a credential. 
I'm here to remind you that the friendships and memorable moments that shaped your experience over these past few years will continue with you no matter what path you take. You now join over 90,000 alumni who are making a difference in communities across the province, the nation, and the globe. This is a group of peers whom you share a common experience with. Connect with them, stay connected with each other, continue to cheer on our Griffins, stay involved with the McEwen University community, and perhaps walk the halls as a mentor to the next generation of students. You are an important part of our university's legacy. I hope that you embrace being a McEwen alum in the same way that you embrace being a McEwen student, with commitment and passion. Once again, on behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations, Class of 2024. Enjoy this moment. You earned it. Thank you. Thank you, Ines. And now, in honor of National Indigenous Peoples Day, we have a special performance. I know we're in for a real treat. I would like to welcome back to the stage Shayla, Delore Maracle, and Damaris Badger.
Thank you, Sheila and, and Damaris, for those wonderful performances. This brings us to the closing moments of our ceremony. It gives me great pleasure to thank the many people in our McEwen community who have worked hard to organize convocation. Faculty, I want to thank you for all your work. You ensured that your students were engaged in meaningful academic experiences that contributed towards their success. Graduates, while this signifies the end of your academic career at McEwen, it is not the end of your lifelong journey of learning. I know that there are many people who helped you on your journey thus far. I'd like to invite you, our graduates, to express your appreciation to those who have supported you along the way. Would the faculty, family, and friends of our graduates please rise? Graduates, a round of applause, please. And now, in turn, I invite our faculty, family, and friends to join me with a massive round of applause congratulating our graduates of 2024. Please be seated. Before we adjourn for the day, I would ask that guests remain at your seats for a few more moments. The stage party will exit first, followed by the graduate recessional. Once the last graduate leaves, guests may exit to the lobby. With that, I declare this convocation closed.